Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be making a handmade card um, and I'm using the Poppy and Pear collection. I absolutely love this collection, although I haven't had much chance to use it yet. So um, as soon as I knew I was going to be making this card, I just knew that I wanted to use this collection. I'm not sure why, um, but I just straight away thought I'm going to use that collection. <laughs> Um, so this is a special birthday card because it's an 18th birthday so I'm using a large card base and I just picked out some paper for the collection to stick on the base of the card and I'm just looking through the ephemera pack to pick out some pieces I think I might want to use. I absolutely love the floral pieces and when I saw that there was a little bookshop I knew I had to use that one because Annabella loves books. So I decided to use all three of the little shops so I could make a little shop cluster um, and I pop the little flowers behind it so I can do like a floral cluster behind the shops. Um, I did really want to use a sausage dog because I love Dash Hound sausage dogs but it didn't quite fit in because of the size of the shops the dog looked too big and out of proportion so in the end I didn't use that one. And I'm using a little um, string of lights which is printed on vellum in the top. I thought that looked nice. I really wanted to use the live in the moment piece on the foam sheet but it's quite big so it wasn't going to quite fit on. I cut the text out on my silhouette machine as well and I just layered up three layers of card. So I've done gold mirror and then white glitter and gold glitter. I wanted to use this piece of like textured paper um, but it wasn't really going to fit with the design. So I'm not sticking anything down at this point. I'm just moving everything around and trying to see how I like it and then I'll stick it down at the end. Also picked out some handmade flowers off my little box. Um, I wanted to try and incorporate some of these as well. I wanted to make the car look busy but not overly busy so I was trying to make sure that I didn't go too overboard so it looked crazy. I'm just slightly out of frame here but on this part I've just chose a, um, they're not puffy stickers, I'm not sure the name of them ones, um, let me see I've got it in front of me, um, it's from the thicker sheet, um, I just chose a little quote and it says there's nothing you can't do, I wanted to add a nice little um, sentiment on there as well um, and I thought that was very thick very fitting for Annabella there's nothing you can't do so strive strive for your dreams and I'm putting another little quote on the top which says all kinds of amazing that was a vellum piece in the collection also so at this point I am really liking how it looks and I'm starting to glue them down I added some liquid glue on this vellum piece which was a little bit of a mistake because it does start to curl up um, so next time I'll have to think about how I can stick the vellum pieces down a bit better. I'm using a mixture of liquid glue, hot glue gun and foam pads so I can add different dimensions onto the card so it's not all one flat layer. I am also in my pyjamas as I'm decorating this card. Um, it was a Sunday so I'll get excused um, but often when I'm crafting I'm just in my pyjamas chilling out and relaxing so I'm sure that you see a lot of my, a lot of my videos, pyjama sleeves, my oody, <laughs> it's got to be done. I'm sticking her name on with some hot glue gun so it um, stands out away from the card and has some dimension. I 
and then now I'm just sticking down the big cluster on the bottom. I really like how this card came together and I'm definitely going to look forward to using this collection again for another project. I'm using my Nouveau um, Deluxe Glue today. I haven't used this one in ages because I've always been using my Bailey Arts Glue since I've got that. But it was nice to go back to this glue because I always used to use this glue before discovering Bailey Arts. I use these large rectangle form squares or rectangles even um, on these because... I knew that for the bookstore one, I wanted to really layer that one up so it stood out from the rest. Um, and I find that the rectangle ones are easier to layer up rather than the tiny square ones with them being so small. So I added one layer of foam on the first, like the two at the side, and then I actually add three layers on the middle one so it stands out. Normally when I make handmade cards, I do them 6 inches by 6 inches, um, but I found these ones on Amazon and they're 10 inches tall by 7 inches wide. Um, and I've decided I'm going to do big cards like this for all of my special birthdays. I've had quite a lot of special birthdays this year and some more coming up as well, so I'm really glad that I found these because I think it just makes the card a little bit special being that bit bigger. So I'm just sticking the last few bits down now. I'm really enjoying doing card making lately. I've been making loads of different types, like um I'm doing ones like this and then I've been doing some stamped ones. I've been having a lot of fun doing different handmade cards. So my card is nearly finished. I'm just going to add some um, last touches of some enamel gems. And I'm using these ones which are from the, um, let me have a look, they're right in front of me now, the craft consortium i think that's how you say it i'm not very good with pronunciations or might be wrong um but i just add some glue and little dots of where i'm gonna put it um and then i just go in and add the gems in the different sizes these ones are like the pink dewdrop ones so they're like see-through um i really really love these because i think they really add a nice pretty touch but they're not too like in your face they do really like blend in because they're quite subtle and I do add loads on, I go a bit gem crazy with them, so I hope it doesn't look too many. Um, but this is my card all finished now. I really like how it turned out and I hope that Annabella likes it. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video and coming along the journey and seeing how this card came together. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.